All right, overnight while you were sleeping, you may not have heard yet. KDISD, the board, approved a new policy that is focused on students who identify as transgender. Now, the trustees met up until midnight, and the decision was a close one. Shelby Rose has more on the policy and the heated debate. Well, this subject most certainly dominated the meeting last night. Dozens upon dozens of speakers getting in their last minute arguments, the majority of which opposing this new proposal. Narrowly passing in a four to three vote, this policy now requires district employees to inform parents if their child identifies as transgender, requests to use different pronouns, or change the name by which they want to be called. And it states the teacher is not required to call a student by any pronoun if they don't feel comfortable doing so. Also, the topic of gender fluidity is now banned in the classroom. Before the vote was taken, many community members, parents, and students spoke before, and some moments got rather heated. Those against the policy believe it would do more harm than good, pointing to the suicide rates of transgender youth in America. However, those in support of such centered their argument around parental consent, believing it's a parent's right to know what's going on with their child inside the school walls. It provides helpful boundaries to the role of district staff as educators and not parents for the school day. In providing certainty around gender identification, it gives protection of the legal rights of all students and staff. And finally, it confirms the school district's commitment to a safe environment and an atmosphere of respect. How will you protect a student that has already committed suicide due to not feeling accepted at home or at school? I believe if you pass this policy, students with unsupportive parents will possibly be driven to self-harm or suicide. And also added in this new policy, it requires students to use common areas like locker rooms and bathrooms by the sex they were assigned at birth. Reporting in the newsroom, Shelby Rose, Fox 26 News.